Hey, hey, Tim's Tips here. I'm going to show you about VHB tape, why I decided to use it, how strong it is, and maybe make some improvements even to what I did in terms of if you're uncomfortable with uh, the strength or that something may uh, separate after years of use. So uh, here we go. So my experience in the last uh, three years of using VHB tape, actually four years, is that it, when it's laid flat, it does very well. You have a constant force pushing on that adhesive and just re keep reinforcing the adhesive force. But if you tug on it, twist it, try to peel it up with a constant force over months, it will peel up. So that's my only uh, caution. Now I had people uh, cautioning me on Sprinter Forum that I was gonna take these solar panels and fling them into a family's car, causing death and destruction. And I thought that was, I pushed back with, here's why. I'm actually gonna show you why right now, why this tape is so good. They're, first of all, they're very well studied. Uh, the specifications are listed here. The RP62 that I used is good for Europe, urethane paint, but I caution you to look at your own application, what material you're adhering to and uh, just look at these specifications on on the online so um, here and it has the application techniques make sure it's very clean very extremely clean surface uh, that you will bond to well, I will show you hopefully I don't bore you too much uh, here's the math why this tape is so good 80 pounds per square inch is the key figure here and that's sort of a, a force that, that I use for all these calculations so I have four square inches uh, on my inner panels, not the front one, but the inner ones. And I just do the calculation of four square inches of tape times a 320 pounds per mount point times four mount points. And uh, that comes up with you know, simple math. And uh, so we have 1,280 pounds there of force that those, those panels could withstand uh, the, on my inner panels. Then we go to the outer panels, uh, or actually the, the front panel here. I knew that there'd be lots of wind coming from you know, the drive and trying to peel up the panels. And so I, I made that 41 inches, uh, full length of the, the solar panels and uh, you know, two inches wide. So 6,500, 60 pounds times two points. And that is just a tremendous amount of force that the, uh, in fact, these things may never come off. There's certain ways you can make them come off, maybe with a uh, reciprocating knife or something like that to get them off, but it's gonna be very hard. Just a little break here. I put these panels on my four travel motor home. Uh, it is sold now, but I put uh, 15 of these two by two inch contact points on it. And in the three years that I had it, uh, never never budged an inch, never showed any signs of failure. And uh, so here's, a, here's what a hurricane does. Uh, 140 mile per hour winds uh, produces approximately 0.35 pounds per square inch. So I'm doing the calculations now to see what a hurricane would do to these things. Here's the sun power specifications for my panels. So I just get the length and width and I round it up uh, to 44 by 62 inches and then multiply it by that uh, the Pascal of the pounds per square inch in a hurricane force that would be on them and then come up with the, the force 954 pounds uh, on that panel. Uh, now you might say the different angles might might matter of course they do but this is a general uh, calculation from the web. And I welcome uh, challengers to this, uh, to this calculation. So I have 326 pounds of buffer <clears throat> on the inner panels, uh, on the inside panel. And of course, you know, the, the one in the front has much more buffer. And if you really uh, don't want to uh, you know, just rely on the VHB, you can use this. This is a polyurethane adhesive that we're using for our aircraft windows in our EAA build or experimental aircraft build, it is tough as nails. It, it almost seems like uh, tire rubber when it's fully cured. So that would be an additional uh, 
thing that you could do for your build. I thank you for listening. Uh, please subscribe, and I hope to see you uh, on the next Tim's Tips, Tips video. Thank you.